So we're gonna cover that up in a little bit. Let's just do the other side. Hello guys, welcome or welcome back to the channel. Today is an exciting one. We're gonna finish up my fall decorating here in my dining area. A few weeks ago, we decorated my living and entryway area together. And with several projects in between, I'm finally ready to finish up my fall decorating. So let's get into it. Before getting started here in my dining room, I just wanted to share a couple of minor changes that I made in the living room area since we decorated. Right here you will see that I put that artwork there that I got while thrifting. I shared that with you prior to decorating and I wanted to incorporate it somewhere in this space. I tested it there and I really liked it. I thought it's taller than the one that I had prior and I think scale wise that worked a lot better. The one that was actually there I found the perfect spot for it. I'm going to share that with you soon. Also over here there was a smaller lantern. I tried this taller one and I actually love that there. Over here I also put that amber bottle I got at Hobby Lobby and I relocated the yellow vase to over here. So just some minor changes before we move on. Uh, let's get started. This is my dining table. This is a table that we once used as a desk and I flipped it to what it looks like now. And I also thrifted these chairs and painted them black with the off-white on the cane webbing. I'm itching for something different. I've just been keeping my eyes peeled every time I go to the thrift store or on Facebook Marketplace to see anything else that I like. Once something comes up, I'll be changing this completely out. But for now, this really works. The size is great. It is a square and it's quite huge. So when we have gatherings, it can really seat a lot of us. I picked up this linen tablecloth at the thrift store a couple weeks ago. This is it doubled in terms of the length. It is made by William Sonoma, it's 100% linen. William Sonoma is the parent company for Pottery Barn, West Elm, Rejuvenation, a few of those. And so this is excellent quality. I am sure that this was really pricey when it was in store. It has that eyelet detail going around the entire border of it. And because this is so long, I'm just gonna change up the configuration of the table. This table is wide enough that you can actually sit uh, two on each side and then I'm gonna drape this in the opposite direction. I didn't really have a way to hang it to do it properly, but this is good enough. Linen has a really nice natural wrinkle to it, which I love. Since I've arranged the seating to have it as this way with two on each side, and this is so extremely long on the opposite ends of the table, I'm just gonna tie these up and do my tablescape coming this way. These are some Velcro ties. I used these when I decorated for Christmas last year. These are what held together some of my garlands. And this is actually two put together. These are what they look like. It's like a little belt and you put it through like this. I think this is going to need something a lot thicker. So I joined two together to make one long one. Seeing it holds really nice and tight. So we're gonna cover that up in a little bit. Let's just do the other side. If you missed last week's video, make sure you go back and take a look at it. We celebrated two years here on YouTube. And to show my appreciation for all the support you guys have given me over the last couple of years, I put together two huge gift boxes 
filled with home decor items I thrifted over the last year. If you want a chance to win one of those boxes, make sure you go back and take a look at that video. Okay, so I am going to create the tablescape going across this way because of course we're sitting on either side of it. I have this garland that I got from Target last year. I think it was part of the Magnolia Fall Collection. And if you remember, I bundled it up and put it in a vase on my coffee table. So this year I'm going to spread it out. I'm not sure if this is going to stay the entire season on the table here. It may just turn into a wreath at some point, but we're going to use it today on this tablescape and I'm just going to set it up going across the table like this. Oh, before I do that, I got this runner from, where did I get this? TJ Maxx a few days ago because you guys know I love combining modern with some vintage or antique elements and so I want this to have an up-to-date modern look but I also wanted to have some vintage touches and I thought this crochet runner would bring in that vintage touch will definitely add some texture to the tablescape and it's pretty long I think this should work I haven't tried any of these things yet so you guys are doing it right along with me and hopefully this turns out beautiful. I love the way this looks. I got this at Michael's. Actually, Michael's has 70% off all their Ashland Fall stems. I picked this up a few days ago and once I decided to use it here on the tablescape, I figured I would need some more. I went back this morning and they were all gone. So this was originally $10, it's $3 right now. I'm gonna take this apart and I'm gonna add this into the garland. They're pretty easy to just pull apart as well. It's a little bit messy, the paper that they use, but I think this would look really nice. Five smaller pieces. You guys remember these I shared on my fall decorating ideas video, and I really, really wanted to use these somewhere because this is a color that I put a little bit of in different parts of my decor. I thought I wasn't gonna find somebody to use these, but I think I could use these in here just to bring that color in. Now let's add in some real vintage touches. I shared with you this candle stand a while ago. It holds five candles and it is brass. And I also shared, well, lots of candle holders with you in past videos, but I took these two out. I think these are pretty. I love the patina on these and I love the height of it. It's a little bit shorter than this one. And so I wanted some varying heights. A few days ago, while I was at TJ Maxx, I got that runner like I shared with you and I also saw these candle holders which I thought were so beautiful it is a like a sage green and they were $5.99 a piece love 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 the cut of the glass and the color I think incorporating brass with glass looks really pretty especially when the candles are lit anything that has glass it reflects that light i use these a lot these are my um, battery operated candles which probably needs batteries at this point i like using them on the candle holders on the wall because it works with a remote so oh there we go it works with a remote so it's pretty easy i don't have to go up there and 
put a fire. So I like these, they're safe, they topple over, no big deal. For here, I'm gonna put some real candles. I got this pack of eight tapered candles. They're from Sand and Fog. Sometimes I pick up those uh, three, four wick candles from this brand and they're pretty good. I like this because it's unscented. I paid $10 for eight of them and I really like the color of these. Actually, it's very similar to the color I have on, which is like a a dull down version of that burgundy color. It's not pink. It does have that uh, very dirty red undertone to it. I think these are 10 inch, no, are they 10 inch? Maybe 12 inch candles. And I also ordered some on Amazon. I got these, I think these are six inch tapered candles. And I was thinking of going with that sort of a moody vibe, but I think I'm gonna use both of them. Very nice deep brown color. These two work really nice together. So I think I'm gonna incorporate both into the candle stands here. I got a few more. This is the same six inch candle like this one is, but it's just that ivory color. I didn't think I was gonna get these on time. They said this was gonna arrive tomorrow and it literally just came. So at least we have it to see if we wanna use it. I bought four of them. So there are two boxes. Each box has two candles and look at how gorgeous this candle is. Look at the shape of it. How beautiful. They're very thick, so they're twice the diameter of a regular candle. Sort of a medium brown color. Very, very gorgeous. I'm not gonna lie, these are not cheap. Would assume that they are a slower burn because they're so much thicker, but look at how gorgeous that is. I got two packs. I'm glad they're here so I could compare whether I wanna use this or the little brown ones, but we'll see. Now we're gonna add some dinnerware. I also got these glasses at TJ Maxx. These were $4.99. It's the same color as these, which is pretty amazing. Love the design on this glass. Love the design on the candle holder. And I didn't even find them in the same area. I was looking at glasses. I love the color of these and I was exiting. And then I saw this on an end cap and I thought, oh my goodness, those colors are identical. So I'm gonna wash these up and add these. And I also got some gorgeous plates at Home goods, these were $6.99 a piece. Look at the flowers. I have been on the lookout for vintage plates at the thrift store and I just haven't found any that I really like. I'm gonna keep looking, but I'm also gonna keep these because I thought these were so pretty. Love the colors in it and I love this little scallop detail around the edge with the gold trimming. It is dishwasher safe, which is very important for me. Before I add those, let me grab you guys remember these? I shared this with you on the fall decorating ideas video a couple weeks ago. I thrifted these. I got six for, I think it was $3.99. This is also going to add that vintage touch to everything. So I'm going to go ahead and set this up with these plates. If you've been around for a while, you would recognize these napkins. These are some brown ones I got months ago with crochet detail on the end. And these were the linen napkins I picked up a couple of weeks ago. I kept hinting to you guys that I was gonna do something like this. I keep going back and forth with which of these I should use. I'm gonna be using these brass rings that I picked up. These were also thrifted. This one has that hammered detail around it and this one just has like these like little cuts design on it. Doesn't matter which one 
this is what I need help with. So let me know in the comments which one you would go with. I'm gonna show you what both looks like. I was wandering around Target the other day and I found this threshold candle for $10. Look at how pretty it is. They come in three different sizes. So there's a bigger and a smaller one. I thought a couple of smaller ones to this on the tablescape would be really pretty because of the color. I went to Target this morning to see if I could find the smaller ones and I still couldn't find them, but I did pick up a few more because I just thought it was so pretty. I love, love, love the color. And I also got a bigger one, which I would probably use here on the buffet. Do you remember this? I shared this with you on a previous thrift haul and I have not been able to really find the right spot for him, but I think I have the right spot now. The reason he's fitting this time around is remember I had the wall sconce, one here and one over there. So because of this space, I had that taller lamp, the brass tall lamp here, but because I'm putting the sconces on either side of the mirror this time, this fits perfectly because of the height. It's not gonna block the sconce and he gets to have a moment. So I'm so excited to bring him out and finally use him. Love that. I also got this vase at Michael's. Back when I decorated for the living room, but I just didn't use it. I did put it in and out when I was trying out different things and it didn't work. This was originally 20 and I think it was half price. I think I paid $10 for this. My only regret is there was a smaller one and I didn't get it, but I love this. Love the pattern, love the color. Don't know how I'm gonna use it yet, but I wanna incorporate this here. Okay, I may have gone a little bit wild with the stems. This, I really love the colors, of course, because this has that burgundy color in it. And I also really like these because it has the changing of the leaves colors that I also like. Now, these are all from Michaels. I always tell you guys I don't like much at Michaels, but they've been bringing it with the stems this year. This one is a eucalyptus with the seeds. And I, I love the changing of the colors of this one. And this is a different type. This one isn't as realistic as these are, but I liked this for this little bundle right here. It's very similar to that one that I put on the cabinet over there. I went back to Hobby Lobby to get some more of those, but didn't have any more. But this is also quite nice. And I think this would work nicely together with this. Again, another decision to make if I am gonna use this over here or if i'm gonna use these i like this but i think that it's like a lot of that color i think it would be a little bit too much with these colors happening here and i think it needs some greenery to tie that into this i also got a pair of these pillow covers on amazon they're a very thin material they're not like high quality they were very inexpensive but I love the colors. If you remember, I had a different one here and I thought it would be nice because there's that chair at the side of the buffet to have the same pillow cover on each side. So I did one here and I'm gonna put this one on that side of the buffet. These are the sconces I shared with you that I couldn't wait to put up for fall. These were $6.99 a piece and I thought they were perfect for this time of year. Look at the leafy detail, very nice heavy brass. And so I'm gonna put this on either side of that mirror. Oh my gosh, so gorgeous.